Are you guys getting sick of all these moon cards yet? I sure hope not because lately all I want to draw is the moon. All right, so let's get started on this next Copic painting. I'm using a stamp set by Honeybee Stamps called Little Pickup. And I just stamped the pickup truck on a diagonal. And then there are some little stamps included with the kit so that you can put all kinds of stuff in the back of your pickup truck, including these little pumpkins that I chose to use for this painting. This is the moon from the new Hero Arts Autumn Moon stamp set. Um, it just came out as one of the add-ons to the My Monthly Hero kit for September. And I stamped that using Simon Says Stamp Barely Beige ink. And then I'm gonna go around the rim with a one and a half inch circle punch and a W0 marker just to put a little bit of a border around the moon. You'll see where I'm going with this when we start shading the sky. We're just drawing in the line for the road beneath the truck so that I know where our sky begins and where the, well, where the sky ends and where the road begins. And I just trace that in with a W0 marker. I'm gonna add a mask on top of the pickup truck because I I know I'm gonna be messy when I make my sky and I, I didn't want any of the, the pickup truck image to get marked up while I was doing the sky. So we're gonna start with BG000 around the rim of the moon. And we're gonna go around for about a half an inch. And now I'm taking a BG10 and I'm gonna go around it one more time. The BG10 gives um, blue shades a really, really nice glow. So I haven't been using it that much lately, but I thought for this painting, I want this, there to be a really nice glow in the sky because the sky, um, for the most part, is gonna be very, very dark. So I wanted there to be some brightness right around the moon and the BG10 helps with that. Now I am, for the sky itself, I'm using Copic markers from B91 through B99 for the sky. And then here and there, I'm gonna mix in a little B45, which is a really pretty blue shade that also adds some turquoise hints as well. And I'll probably use that when I shade in between the B91 and the B93. So I'm just kind of going around and around and around with my different um, blues from lightest to darkest. And now I'm using a B97 and we're just going to have that dark color on the very edge on the right side. And then um, coming in about halfway to the, to the middle of the page on the left hand side. This is the darkest color we're gonna use. This is the B99. It's a really, really pretty rich navy color. And I just want a little hint of it. Um, because I do want it to be a dark sky, but then I also want us to be able to see this, the glow from the moon because it's gonna light up the pavement underneath the truck, it's gonna highlight the pumpkins, and it's gonna also leave some really pretty highlights on the truck. So I wanna make sure we have enough light in the sky to allow for all those pretty highlights later on. So I'm just use, doing my usual technique here, which is I um, start lightest to darkest going from the moon itself outwards and then I go outwards to inwards with my darker shades and I end up there. I noticed that I went in a little bit inside the lines on the moon so I just took my one and a half inch circle punch and I just went around the rim with a colorless blender darkening up the coloring on the moon with a W0 and a W1 marker there and now we're going to draw in the pavement and I'm using Copic markers in the toner gray shades. Um, I love the toner gray shades. They're great for metal. They're also really really good if you want to give a comic book feel to your piece because I feel like the grays they just kind of remind me of, of newspaper and old-time comic books kind of. So I'm just taking um, several different 
markers in the toner gray shades from T2 all the way up to T9. And I'm just leaving little streaks here and there, making sure that I leave a nice white patch in front of the pickup truck, underneath the truck, and a little bit behind because that's where I want my, my highlight from the moon to be. Um, behind the pickup, now I'm gonna draw in some corn stalks and I'm gonna use a number of different gray markers and neutral gray tones. So I'm gonna start with an N4, with it, which is my mid-tone, and I'm just going to draw some little corn stalk shapes all across the page, making sure that some of them extend up into the moon so that it looks like the moon is peering um, from behind the, the corn stalks. Now I'm using my darkest shade, which is N8, and I'm just going to go all the way across the page, starting from the middle, and then I go to the left, and then I kind of go the other way and go to the right. And then next, I'm gonna take a, um, an N6, when I'm done with the N8, and I'm going to draw some more stalks and make sure that these um, peek up past those with the N8 because what I'm trying to create here is the illusion of depth, that there are rows and rows and rows of these corn stalks and that um, the ones that are the darkest are those that are closest to us and then the ones that are lightest are the ones that give us the sense that there are some corn stalks way off in the distance. Peeling the mask off now of the truck and I'm just making the ground um, in front of the truck a little bit darker. I am coloring in the little, um, the back of the pickup truck, the little wooden section that's holding the pumpkins and I'm gonna use some brown Copic markers in E25, E29 and E49 and making sure that between the wooden slats, I'm gonna color that in orange because that's where the pumpkins are. For the pumpkins, I'm using five different Copic colors in yellow red shades, YR15, YR18, YR68, YR04, and YR65. Um, you don't need those precise shades. All you really wanna do is have um, some pumpkins be a dark orange and then some be a light orange, um, just to make it interesting and also you want it to, the lighter pumpkins will make it appear like the moon is shining on them. For the truck, I am coloring in with YG 91 to 99, and I'm starting by um, just filling in most of the truck with YR 91, and then any spot that's like a joint in the truck that sits um, back or is like concave in appearance, that's where I'm gonna put my darkest shading right because that's where the the shadow would fall it's going to fall on the pieces that are um, think about it this way farthest away from us anything that is closest to us is going to be the lightest so the parts of the truck that kind of puff out like the hood and the side around the wheel those are going to be lighter colors because they're those are the convex portions of the of the image the ones that are closest to us so i'm just going over my shading now with a YR99 focusing on those joints again, like in between the door, in between the, the hood and the wheel. Using a neutral gray marker on the windows, I used N4, N6, and N8 with the darker colors focused on the upper portion of the window. And now I'm just gonna add the little lights in with any, you know, yellowish orange marker will do. And I decided to kind of put, instead of relying on the white in the background, I'm actually going over the white, um, the white parts with a Y000 marker, and then I'm gonna go over it again with Y000. So first time I did it Y with four zeros, second time Y with three zeros. And I just wanted to see what that would look like if it makes the, the glow look more eerie than just leaving those sections under the under the pickup white. I am adding highlights now with a white gel pen and whenever I have a moonlit image I like to go around the top of it with a white gel pen 
um, around the image. This may seem, um, when you're doing it, like really uncomfortable and it may look like um, it doesn't look right as you're doing it, but when you finish and you kind of step back from the painting, you'll see it kind of creates this illusion that the that there is this really bright reflection that the moon is hitting the, the image right at that spot and it looks kind of cool. So have some courage when you make your own paintings and, and try that out, even if as you're doing it halfway through it's, it looks like you messed up, just keep going. And if you end up not liking it, you can just um, run your finger across the white gel pen and um, it'll fade into the page and the effect will be less noticeable. I also put some white highlights on the corn stalks in the back of the field. And there's no rhyme or reason to that, I just did little scribbles here and there. And I added a few bats because I wanted this to be a kind of, not, not really spooky, but clear that it's the season we're looking at is fall. As if the, the truck or the pumpkins didn't make that clear already. I am using a sentiment from the Hero Arts Autumn Moon stamp set that says fall is in the air and I stamped it with silver embossing powder. Now I'm going to tape the whole thing to an A2 size card base and that is going to finish off our card. Um, I hope you had fun watching this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and I really hope that you try out this card. I will see you again in the next video. Have a great weekend everyone. Or a great week depending on when you tune in. Thank you.